the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big 5-0. Oh, oh, oh. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. But I'm here to tell you one thing. Whatsoever right you got, you better go out there and do the will of the Most High like it has never been done before. And see what it's The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom. And we got the history, we got the records. The man that calls himself a Jew today, do the research, he's not the real Jew. He's from the Khazarian Empire, an empire that converted to following the ways of the Jews. But you black man, you are a Jew by birth. Whether you acknowledge it or not, whether you accept it or not, you are the people of God, man. And I'm gonna show you in the Bible today that we Christ, who everyone loves, did not come to save everybody. Christ in the Bible only came to save the Jews. Yes, you black man, Jesus Christ only came to save black people. Give me Matthew 1 and the 21st verse. I'm gonna show you in the New Testament that Jesus Christ only came to save Israelites. We're gonna get it out of the Bible, man. You got it for me, Matthew 1, read that. Matthew 1, verse 21. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. So this is talking about Jesus Christ. So now we're gonna find out what Jesus Christ came to do, man. Who Jesus Christ came to save, read. For he shall save his people. No, no, he's gonna save all people. He shall save his people from their sins. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ shall save his people from their sins. So a question for you, if you read the Bible, According to the Bible, who is his people? Who are the people of Jesus Christ? Does anyone know? Not quite. A good answer though. According to the Bible, his people are the Jews. His people are the Israelites. His people ain't everybody. We just read in the Bible, he shall save his people. And who are his people? The Israelites, the Jews, not all people. So in church, what's your pastor even talking about? About Christ came to save everyone. It don't matter who you are, your nation, your color, your creed, your race. That's not the Bible. When in the same Bible, it's saying, Jesus Christ shall save his people. Read that again. For he shall save his people from their sin. And it says he shall save his people. His people are the Jews. Black man, you were his people. Hispanic man, you were his people. Native Indian man, you were his people. And Jesus Christ came to save you from your sins, man. Not everyone. Now give me Matthew 10 and 5. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. I'm going to show you in the same Bible, Jesus Christ only came to save one race of people. Jesus Christ lived, came and died, and was crucified only to save the nation of Israel, only to save one race from their sins. You got it for me. Matthew 10 and 5, read. Matthew 10 verse 5, these 12 Jesus sent forth. And it says, these 12 Jesus sent forth. Who are the 12? The 12 disciples, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, read. And command them saying. And he commanded them. A commandment is a strict order. Christ commanded his disciples saying, we're gonna find out, read. Go not to the ways of the Gentiles. So Jesus Christ said, go not in the way of the Gentiles. What does that mean? Meaning no non-Israelites don't teach, man. A Gentile is a non-Jew. A Gentile is a non-Israelite. Right. And Jesus Christ said, go not in the way of the Gentiles. Meaning don't teach nobody who ain't no Israelite. Right. Don't teach someone who ain't black. Hispanic, native Indian, man. Read. And into any city of the Samaritans go he not, but, un go, but go unto the lost sheep 
Well, it says, but go rather. What does but go rather mean? But go rather means, I would rather you go. I will find it better if you go. To who? Of the house of Israel. Unto everybody. Unto the house of Israel. Unto all people. Unto the house of Israel. And then Jesus Christ commanded his disciples, I would rather you go to the last sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's right. That's the Bible, man. Christ did not come for everyone. Your pastor on Sunday don't know the Bible, man. Your bishop, your deacon, deaconesses, they don't know the Bible. How do, how do we know this? Because in that same Bible, Jesus Christ told his disciples, I would rather you go to the last sheep of the house of Israel, man. I would rather you only go and teach this Bible unto Israelites. Read it again. Matthew 10, verse 5. These 12 Jesus sent forth and command them, saying, Go not in the ways of the Gentiles. So go not in the ways of the Gentiles, meaning no non-Israelite don't teach, man. But yet, your pastor has you believing you got to teach everyone. Everyone needs the word of God. But that's not what Christ said, man. That's not what the king of the Jews said, man. That's not the king that said, I'm coming to save my people, said. Read. And in any city of the Samaritans, go he not, but rather, but, but go rather unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But it says, but go rather, I'll translate it for you. But go rather means it's better if you go to the last sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's right. That's the Bible, New Testament, nothing I wrote, man. We are reading a Bible that's in court, the Bible that's in Waterstones, W.H. Smiths, hotels for your one night stands, man. That's the Bible that's there. And, and that same Bible says, I would rather you go to the last sheep of the house of Israel. Read. Enter he not, but go rather to the last sheep of the house of Israel. And as he go preaching, as he go preaching. And it says, as ye go, speak this word saying, read. Saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what Christ said, man. That's what the Messiah said. He said, as you go to the last sheep of the house of Israel, let them know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's you, black man. You're that house of Israel. You're that last sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Why in the Bible? Does God call his people lost sheep? Do you want to know why Christ called his people the lost sheep? Because all over the earth, black people are lost in the church. Black people are lost in the mosque. Black people are lost in Rastafarianism. Black people are lost in Egyptology. Black man, you're that lost sheep of the house of Israel. You're lost in everything, man. I've been to church. Black people fill the church, man. I've been in the mosque. Black men fill the mosque. I've been to Pan-Africanism exhibitions and we're all up in there, man. We're the last sheep of the house of Israel and we ain't lost no more. We are, we are those Jews. We are the people that descend from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Right. You are the fathers of great men, King Solomon, King David, Isaiah, Ezekiel, man. That's your history, black man. But what happened? We're lost in the mosque, man. Black people are lost in the church. Black people are lost in Seven Day Adventist, right. Jehovah's Wickedness, right. Seven Disadvantages. You know what I mean? We're everywhere except where we're meant to be, man. Serving the Lord. In this Bible, ain't no religion in this Bible. This Bible right here ain't no religious book. This Bible is a book of laws, statutes, and commandments that, right. that God told those same Jews, if you follow me, I'm going to put you on high above all nations on the face of the earth. That's what the Bible's about. Ain't nothing religious in this Bible. All throughout the Bible, it talks about Israel. And who is Israel? Israel is a nation of people. Just like how you got Chinese, Japanese, you got a nation called Israel, and God deals with that nation of people only. But I'm there, give me um, Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. I'm gonna prove it to you that this same Bible everyone reads is a nationalistic book. It's talking about black people's history. It's talking about the Jews from Exodus to when they had the land and they disobeyed God. Ain't nothing religious in this Bible. What's in this Bible is the history of the Jews. It's the history of you, black man. It's your history, how God parted the Red Sea for you, how God gave you a land and you disobeyed God by following other gods and he kicked you out of the land and how that you will be in an enemy's land 
serving their gods, serving wood and stone. What does that wood and stone represent? The cross and Islam, man. You'll be doing that in the last days. That's what this Bible's about, man. Ain't nothing religious in this Bible, but it's the history of the nation of Israel. It's the history of one race of people. And that's you, black man. You gotta form me Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. I'm gonna show you that this Bible is only about the Israelites and God, the God of heaven and earth, is only dealing with one race of people and that's the Israelites. You gotta form me Amos 3 and 1. The book of Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. O who? Children of Israel. No, 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 O people. Children of Israel. And that's the Bible. The Lord only spoke to the children of Israel, man. The Lord only spoke to you, black man, not everybody. I know in church, your pastor had you thinking, God talks with everyone. Isaiah was Chinese, Ezekiel was Arab. No, all them people was from one nation of people. Right. They was all Israelites. Right. King Solomon was an Israelite. Right. King David was an Israelite. Right. Abraham was a Jew, man. And that's you, black man. The God of the Bible only talks to black people. Every prophet in the Bible, they was black man. Read. O oh, children of Israel, against, against the whole family, which I have brought out from Egypt. And God says, he talks to the whole family. Yes, you black man. God only talks to you. And what's the whole family? All the tribes of Israel, man. Whether it's Judah, Benjamin, Manasseh, Gad. God only talks to the nation of Israel. Read. Out of the land of Egypt saying, you only have I known. No, no, no. God knows everybody. You only have I known. The God of the Bible talks to all people. You only have I known. And that's the Bible. Black man, God says, you only have I known, man. Right, right. God, only, God only acknowledges you, black man. He says, you only have I known. Read. You only have I known. Saying. Sorry. Salaki. You only have I known of all the families of the hurt. And that's the Bible. You only have I known above all the families of the earth. What does the word family mean? Races, nationalities, and black man. God only knows you. God only acknowledges you above all the families of the earth, man. God only deals with black people. We, we, we are reading a Bible where in that same Bible, it tells you everyone's black. Abraham was black. Ezekiel was black. In the book of Job, Job says he's black man. And God says, you only have I known above all the families of the earth, above all the races of the earth. Read it again from um, uh, the verse one. Hear the word of the Lord that the Lord has spoken unto you, against you, O children of Israel. And it says the Lord only speaks to the, to the children of Israel, man. This Bible is for everyone. This Bible right here is a nationalistic book. This Bible is a separatist book, man. Right. I, I don't know how your pastor even makes it work on Sunday, talking about this Bible's for everyone. Everyone's in the Bible. That's not the Bible. It says, you only have I known, man. And this word was only addressed unto the children of Israel. Right. Read. Against the whole family, which I have brought up from the land of Egypt. And it says, the whole family, which I brought forth from the land of Egypt. Every nation was not mentioned in the book of Exodus. Every nation did not hear the voice of God and live. Every nation did not get the Ten Commandments, man. Only the Israelites did read. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the hurt. Saying, you only have I known, man. God only knows you, black man. You're the Israelites and God only knows you. God only acknowledges you. Read. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. And that's the problem. Because God only knows us, whenever we sin, whenever we break his commandments, he's going to make sure we get a curse, man. We get a punishment for not serving the Lord. That's why you see us now in the ghetto suffering. Why? Because God only knows us and he's gonna punish us for all of our sins, man. For all the evil that we do. From there, give me um, Acts 13 and the 23rd verse. Acts 13 and the 23rd verse. So I'm going to show you again that Jesus Christ only came to save his people. And who are his people? His people are the Jews, man. His people are the Israelites. And if you're on the side of my right, you are the Israelites. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, 
You are the real Jews. You got it for me. Read. 13, Acts 13 verse 23. Of this man's seed. So the Bible says of this man's seed. What seed is it talking about? The seed of David. The, the seed of King David. Read. At God according to his promise. Raise up Israel. Raised unto who? Israel. Raised unto all people. Israel. Raised unto the whole world. Israel. A savior. So, so there you have it. Jesus Christ is only a savior for Israel, man. Jesus Christ is only a savior for the Jews. Jesus Christ is only a savior for black people, man. That's you right. are the real Jews. And we just read it in the Bible, in the book of Acts. He raised unto Israel a savior. So Jesus Christ was only a savior for you, black man. Whether you like it or not, whether you accept it or not, Jesus Christ only came to save black people, man. That's right. Read it again. Acts 13 verse 23 of this man's seed at God according to his promise raise up raise raise unto Israel a savior and there you have it that's the Bible man Jesus Christ did not come to save everyone we just read it in the book of Acts man newest of the New Testament and it says of this man's seed what seed is talking about the seed of King David Jesus Christ was a savior for Israel man the nation of Israel, the family of Israel, not for all people. We shows that your pastor don't know the Bible, man. Right. All your pastor knows is the tambourine right. and the organs and right. this little light of mine. That's all your pastor knows. But the Bible, he don't know that. That's right. I've been to church and my pastor told me, Jesus Christ come to save everyone. Christ don't look at your race when that's not the Bible. Jesus Christ cares about one base of people. That's right. All throughout the Bible, O house of Israel, my people Israel. In the book of Revelations, when it describes the kingdom of heaven, what did it say? In the kingdom of heaven, there was 12 gates, and on those 12 gates were the names of the tribes of Israel. Right. So um, how does God love everybody? If he's saying in the kingdom of heaven, it's a racist kingdom, it's only for the rulership of one race of people. That's right. It shows you that your pastor don't know the Bible. All he knows is organs, tambourines. You know what I mean? The organ, you know what I mean? Um, he's got the whole world in his hands. That's all your pastor knows. But the Bible, he don't know that, man. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under commanding General Yohanna presents the Big Five O. -O. The 50th annual Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Lord's Passover, Saturday, April 20th at sundown. Shalom.